Yo, 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 we back once again with the True Hip Hop Podcast. It's your boy DJ Blaze, and I'm back in the building with a very special guest, Nessa Rousey. How you doing today? I'm doing very good today. It's glad to be back. We back for episode 246, but before we get started, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Right now. Like, comment, and share. Right now. It helps me and Nessa out tremendously on the algorithm. But y'all can't say anything subscribing, so hit that bell. Bing! And make sure it's all notifications. You heard me? Aight, man, we just finna just dive right into these YouTube streets, man. Yesterday, on the Double XL magazine, the UK is not feeling breezy. <laughs> Chris Brown has been prohibited from entering the United Kingdom. Band. Any attempt by him to set foot in the UK will result in his immediate arrest and assault charges, according to reports. Well, I have to say, it is really polite of them to give him a warning. <laughs> for those that don't know, Chris was initially banned from the UK for a duration of 10 years due to his assault on his former girlfriend, Rihanna. They sure know how to hold a grudge <laughs> that wasn't even on their soil. Ali, he was granted entry into the country in 2020 mm. and managed to organize his first tour there that year. They flipped the script on him after alleged assault. A music producer claimed that Breezy repeatedly hit him over the head <laughs> with a champagne bottle. Nah, why he do that though? <laughs> After he annoyed him with a loud music at a nightclub. Oh. Excuse me. Chris actually promised to be a good boy and stay on his good behavior. He didn't like mean a it. Professional <laughs> jockey riding a horse. Mm -hmm. They still denied him. They also said that he would face both arrest charges if he dares to set foot on British soil ever They watching again. for him. They looking for this him. This all happened back in March. Sure, the rumors of him beating up Usher didn't help his case in the mm. UK. <laughs> Chris has been on a rampage. I don't know what's going on with him, but... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He done beat up Usher. He done hit this producer over the head with, with a, a, champagne a champagne bottle. bottle. He was banned from the UK <coughs> for 10 years for the Rihanna incident. I don't even know how they did that. Like, he ain't mapping over there and they banned oh. him from the UK. Right. And then he still can't. And then they let him back in the community. <laughs> it's like, you ain't coming back. That's what they said they're waiting for him. If he try, even try to come up in there, they're going to be looking for him. So He was going to try to do another tour there. I was like, nah, bro. Nah. We sending you this letter. You lucky we telling you. That's what they said. It was like, we Actually, lucky we yeah. giving you a warning not to sit foot on this soil. Mm -hmm. He wanted to go back and get the bag. He thought he was good because he went in 2020. They had uh, let him back in 2020 after 10 years, man. <laughs> and then um, he gets into it at the nightclub. He was in a nightclub and shit. And they was playing the British music way too loud in his ear. And he got mad. At the producer DJ and he cracked him over the head with a champagne bottle. <laughs> they, they don't and they don't play over there for real. They they really don't. They don't yeah. like black people. Nah. Brown people, no. They that's they don't really even like that um that that black girl married to the prince, man. They hate that. They hate that so bad. They made that. They hounded that woman so much she had to leave. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they they're like they they are extremely think. Or they racist here. This is racist. No, it's totally different over there and any other on um, the UK. You right. know, so yeah, he um we gave him a chance, but oh, Chris, that's the thing about it is he's just keep lately been just all yeah, everywhere, been, all over the world, time. somewhere. You doing something? What's he been on a rampage, man? Like, why would you fight your boy Usher, man? For real, he bust his <laughs> nose and shit. <laughs> Then you, it was his birthday, out. though. You then, know he, he then after that, he got into another altercation the next day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was fighting um, 
Usher's entourage and shit, man. They was like, uh, uh, pushing each other and shit. He dyed his hair all these different colors. Yeah, I don't know what's shit. going on. That's a sign. Remember I told you, man, that they wear that red and blonde hair. They in the game. They in the industry. Mm-hmm. That means that they're doing that. Yeah. What do you think <laughs> about um, Puffy? Uh... Not signing them because he wouldn't give. They said allegedly Chris Brown didn't want to give him sexual favors, so and didn't. so he didn't sign uh, Chris Brown. What do you think about that? I'm gonna tell it like this, you know, right about now. As far as him, he's concerned. Everything I'm basically believing all this, you know, all the I mean? stories about the guy, you right? right There's all the, types of homosexual stories about Diddy everywhere. Man. A lot of Ross. people are saying it. Look, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck. It's, it's a fucking duck. duck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's right. what they said Jamie Foxx got hurt for. They talked about how the mansion pl- uh, party tape leaked when he was telling his boys. Yeah, they was telling their boys that somebody <laughs> was recording them yeah. and shit. And after that, he ends up in the hospital. Ooh. He sent them goons to the movie set, man. Yeah. He really did, man. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that was crazy, man. Like, everybody exposing Diddy right now for some, <laughs> for some reason. You know, uh, he must have did something to make them yeah, mad because he he's something. been, you know, doing that. It's no too. lies, you know. It's been going on for years and years, still going up, yeah. you know. But they ain't protecting him no more. Right, that's all it is. Right. People yeah. t- talking. He probably didn't make. They offer money, money. <laughs> believe they. They offer money for these people to tell the stories, tell the truth. Right. And you know, they got to make sacrifices in this industry. They got to make a blood sacrifice. It's like, and then um, um, stars, they people in the music music industry, they die of just like the most outrageous, you know, it's always in a, it's always death, in a, it's, plane it's, crashes. It's, it's No, that's only one plane crash, but it's either in the hotel, uh-huh. all of Whitney Houston, right. or in a car, right, or, or they get shot. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Them the ways they always that all the famous people, you know, like it's always somebody getting shot or in the fucking they they bathtub. they like I know I know they death rate gotta be you know higher than average or normal because yeah, they just it's coming up June 25th is the Illuminati's biggest blood sacrifice. I guarantee gonna somebody kill? is gonna be dead that day. It's <laughs> not funny. Bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I bullshit you somebody so a celebrity gonna, it's gonna be three of them too it's gonna be three celebrities gone on, on June 25th you better watch your backs if you've been talking you heard it first on the <laughs> true hip hop podcast <laughs> I'm telling you Michael Jackson died June 25th you know what I mean oh wow yeah, yeah. a lot of these celebrities died June 25th you know but yeah, man, what do you think about uh, Chris Brown beating up Frank Ocean, man, over a parking spot? Oh, Chris, come on, man. You wild. <laughs> He's really wilding out now. I don't know if there's something going on, but you know he ain't supposed to be doing all that. <laughs> they, they Everywhere. Can, uh, they will take you to jail. They don't care. They will arrest you. You see, they don't want you to come to their country no more. Right. And ain't Frank Ocean from a, over the one over there or something? Yeah, he is not an American citizen, is he? No. Well, oh, okay, they one of them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see. Oh, boy. They didn't like that either. But if they don't know what <laughs> happened, man, they was at going to the studio. They was booked the same day, man, on a Sunday. And uh, Frank Ocean took Chris Brown parking spot, man. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Brown put a gun on him, man. Well, he really does they have said, They issues. said he put a gun out on him and punched him in the face. You know what I'm saying? And his boys jumped him for three minutes. <laughs> you know? uh, he, they beat Frank Ocean ass, but he didn't report it. He didn't, did, you know, <laughs> he said he didn't report it. You know? Yeah, Chris. That was crazy, like Chris, man. Like you wilding out, B, man. You got to calm down. That's some real shit. You really got to calm down. Because he's really wilding out on these streets, man. Yes, and he's the thing about it, ain't nobody going to want you to come nowhere. Yeah, they ain't going to want you to come nowhere. That's going to mess with your paper. But let us know what y'all think, man, about Chris Brown wilding out, punching Frank Ocean in the <laughs> face, getting banned from the UK, he can't step foot on the soil. Right. <laughs> let us know, man. I want to say rest in peace to Tina Turner, man. Mm-hmm. She died today at 83 in her sleep. Rest in peace, man. She's a legend, man. Queen rest of rock and roll. <laughs> My condolences to the family. Unless you got any shout outs. Alright, shout out to the viewers. 
Shout out to all the viewers, man. I see y'all subscribing. Make sure y'all keep subscribing. Keep supporting the channel, man. Give this video a like, a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, man. Shout out to Grand Rapids, Michigan. Right, we out of here. One love. Peace. <laughs>